Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video of the Roshank Redemption, and today I've got some more Fallout 3 for you guys. And folks, we have finally reached the Ranger compound after a ton of off-screen deaths, because I did not expect there to be so many enemies on the way here. There were a ton of enemies, a ton of super mutants. We even encountered a super mutant overlord off-screen, and I got wrecked by him. Uh, the second time around, though, I just decided to sneak past him with a shiny stealth armor, because there were some other enemies as, as well, and they were fighting amongst each other. My, my, fir my first mindset was just go in and kill everything, but then I realized if I was just smart about it, and I just snuck around, then I wouldn't have to uh, so I was actually smart about something for once but anyways let's go on dr. Riley here we want a reward you look like you've been through hell uh nah I was on a day's work you're a cocky little thing aren't you I like that well as much as I want to hear all about it can you tell me a full debrief on what happened out there with my men uh I'm so fine fine I'm sorry we lost Donovan Donovan was a good man oh well at least the others made it I'm sure you're more interested in your reward than listening to me talk. So let me get right to it. Yes, I am interested in the reward. You're damn right I do. Now you sound like a merc. Well, let's cut the bullshit and get right to it then. Thank you. So for your reward, what'll it be? The Ranger battle armor or one of Brick's miniguns? Okay, so I think I already looted the Ranger armor off of Donovan. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure if it's the same armor, but regardless, I'm just going to go ahead and go for the minigun. Uh, it doesn't really you matter because I'm not going to use either, well, to be honest. And take down some more muties with it for us. Consider this place your home away from home. If you're ever in the neighborhood again, you're more than welcome to take shelter here. I guess that does it. See you around, kid. All right, I have to go now. Door's always... Okay, yeah, I'm sorry if I made the wrong choice, um, but it doesn't really matter. Like I said, like I said, uh, how do we get out? Uh, yeah, we just go back to the same way we came. Uh, but like I said, it just doesn't really matter, I feel, because I'm going to be using the Chinese stealth armor regardless. And I sort of noticed that my Chinese stealth armor's condition has completely deteriorated, which is not good. Uh, but guys, what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? We are going to do Point Lookout next. That is what we're going to do. Uh, the rest of this episode, we're going to spend our time getting to Point Lookout, which is right over there. Uh, but let me go ahead and turn that on. The local flavor. Okay. And I believe we want to travel to Ancostia Crossing. However the hell you pronounce that. You know, the, the Fallout lore, like, you know, what happened, like, you know, in this alternate Fallout universe is very interesting. And I've been reading about it before. I'm not an expert on Fallout lore, but it's all really interesting, all, all the stuff that happened. Uh, and the stuff that led up to nuclear war. Uh, okay. Uh, let me just check my world map here quickly to make sure that we're heading the right way. I also bought a ton. I, I really do mean a ton of stim packs off screen. I have 32 stim packs now, I want to say. Uh, wait. Is this Rivet City? Yeah, it's literally right next to Rivet City. Okay, alright, whatever. Uh, who are you? Rivet City Security. We, we do not want to mess with you. Oh, wait, is this, uh... Is this who I think it is? Uh... Okay, never mind. We don't really care, actually. We're just gonna ignore you and move on with our lives. I sort of wish we had encountered some enemies, because right now we're just wandering. We haven't done anything this episode. Maybe I should have showed all those off-screen battles that I had of me dying a ton. Although I feel like I've died enough this LP. Uh, do we really need to swim across here? I guess we're gonna swim across. Okay. We can try it. And I don't understand why this water is still irradiated, to be honest. It's kind of strange, isn't it? Wait, is that where we need to go? I think that might be where we need to go over there. And if so, we can we can do a lot more than just get there. And I am taking radiation, I know. I have a ton of right away, so... My radiation isn't really all that high. And by a ton of right away, I literally mean I have a ridiculous, like a stupid amount of right away. Wow, it is right here. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Yeah, it said riverboat, so I sort of sort of assumed. That is a very run-down looking boat. It's, it's sort of big, I suppose, but it's still run down. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and enter this boat. I think you get taken to an island or something. Hello, Catherine. You, are you going to Point Lookout? I need your help. My daughter stowed away on the Duchess Gambit a few weeks ago, and I've been worried sick ever since. I haven't heard anything from her, but if you're going there, could you look for her? Please, I'll do anything to help. First off, your daughter is an idiot. Uh... All right, fine, I'll look for her. Oh, bless you. Her name is Nadine, and she left a couple of weeks ago. Said she wanted to see the world. Silly little thing that she is. That Tobar said he dropped her off at Point Lookout, but who knows what's happened to her since then. I don't know if you can convince my little Nadine to come back, but 
Just give her this note from me, would you? Alright, yeah, yeah, I need to be going. Okay, uh, I don't know why I did that. I'm probably not gonna, I'm probably not gonna help her out. Because that would be the good karma thing to do. I realize I got good karma from Riley's Rangers, but Welcome I really just wanted to do that quest. I am Tobar the Ferryman, and this fine vessel is the Duchess Gambit. We're just back from Point Lookout, but it won't be long before we set off again. Interested? Tobar, you have a very strange name. Uh, what's so special about Point Lookout? You look like a man who's been around the waste, so I'll cut right to it. Yes, I have lookout, been. lookout, you'll find fresh-grown food, mysterious locales, and treasures as of yet unlooted. But keep your wits about you, because you'll find more than a few exotic critters and inhospitable locals. So stay here if you're not man enough. Oh, I see that. He's trying to sucker us in. But like, oh, you're not man enough. Uh, uh, I don't want to talk about Nadine. Uh, nice boat. You must have... Wait. Where's the option to go to Point Lookout? Tell me more about Point Lookout. Down south, this side of the bay, there's a soggy strand of beach called Point Lookout. Okay, so oh, I guess it is an all. island, it would appear Ruins to be. of ancient pleasure towns, mysterious swamps, bristling with treasure, and all practically untouched by outsiders. But if you're curious, I could offer you a ride over to that faraway land. For a nominal fee, of course. Of course the fee. I knew I knew it was a fee. I'd like to buy a ticket. Looking for fame oh, and fortune? Oh, whoa. Hoping to cultivate uh, the delicious punga fruit? Wait a second. Or just looking to run oh, away from your life what? on this dreary shore. What? 450. These people are sleazebags. These people are such sleazebags. Okay. I'm not buying six. Screw that. I guess I'm buying one. Wait, is there any way I could convince him maybe with, like, speech? With my amazing speech skill? Uh, I'm also going to buy some stim packs because you can never have enough of those. We'll take, like, ten. I think ten is good. Uh... And maybe I can sell him some stuff. I don't really have anything on me, though. Yeah, I guess we'll just take that. Probably not the best idea, but how do I get back afterwards? All you have to do is come back to me and buy another ticket. Just be careful not to get stranded short on caps, huh? Once you got a ticket, just head into the cabin and settle in on the cot. We'll be there in no time. Okay. Uh, I'm ready to head out. Whenever you're ready, just take a rest on the cot in the cabin... We'll be at Point Lookout in no time. Alright, cool. This is like Pokemon where you just like go and sleep and then you arrive there. That, by the way, I'm not even going to say anything about how much of a sleazebag he is. Not just for making us pay for one, but making us pay for two. Activate passenger cost. Travel to Point Lookout. I think I'm ready. I have all my stuff on me. I have a ton of stim packs, which is the most important thing because I'm a noob. Uh, <laughs> and I think we're good. I think we're 100% good. I can't believe he's charging us like 500 caps for a ticket. And I know it would be better if I actually decided to up my barter, but I'm an idiot and I don't do those things. So what else can you expect, guys? I only deal with things that glow, so only energy weapons and occasionally explosives and sometimes small guns. But it has to do something. It has to kill things in order for me to, to deal with it. And this place looks very abandoned and creepy. It sort of reminds me of those like abandoned like like pirate ship graveyards. I don't know why. Some sort of Pirates of the Caribbean type crap. I don't know why that came to mind. That was totally random. I, l I love pirate stories. I don't know. I, I I like Pirates of the Caribbean quite a bit. Uh, I mean, you know, the, I feel like the movies sort of got Welcome whoa. To Point Lookout, my friend. Okay. The trip was fine. The weather's nice and damp, and everything out there looks pleasant as ever. Looks like nothing's changed since my last visit, except all that smoke I saw on the way in. Uh, smoke. Yes, the second option. Oh, it's smoke, all right. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And where there's fire, there's profit to be made selling an extinguisher. That you have to be kidding me. This guy is a sleazebag. He's such a sleazebag. Haunted, more importantly, I always heard it was full of pre-war treasure. I know I said Point Lookout was perfect for treasure hunters, but it's a rare day when you get a beacon like that. Okay, I am going. Good travels. Okay. Wait, maybe I misinterpreted what he said about the smoke. But I thought he said something about, like, a fire extinguisher and maybe he was going to go... I, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. We're going to move on with our lives. We're not going to... Screw you, Tobar. I'm, I don't want to talk about you anymore. But yeah, yeah. I like pirate stories. Pirate stories are pretty awesome. Uh, wait. Where is the map directing me? Let me see, wait, what do I need to do? Investigate the mansion. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, actually. Apparently there's a, appara this is all I know, pretty much. Apparently there's a ghoul named Desmond or something like that, or someone named Desmond. Maybe he's not a ghoul, I have no idea. 
Uh, but yeah, pirate stories are pretty awesome. You guys know I'm a huge fan of One Piece. Although One Piece isn't like, isn't at all like Pirates of the Caribbean. Actually, they're actually sort of similar now that I think about it. But yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean, the first movie was freaking phenomenal, I thought. Uh, the second movie and the third movie were like, okay, I suppose. I haven't, I haven't actually, I think there's a fourth movie, right? I say I love the series, but then I'm like, wait, is there a fourth movie? I don't know. Uh, ooh, an enemy, let's kill it. Hello, I'm playing on my A3, but it's not working. Okay. Uh, Scrapper. Okay, maybe I should, I think I should be more careful, actually. We're gonna use this shiny stealth armor. Because whenever I, like, underestimate enemies, they always annihilate me. Which I'm sure, this guy's probably some sort of god. Like, he looks like a normal human, but he's probably some sort of god. Let's see. Oh, never mind, he just got annihilated. Although, I suppose he could still be some sort of god. I just got lucky. I don't really know. Oh, there's someone else on my radar. Uh, that is very far off. Wait, Creeper? It's Minecraft, guys. I told you, they're implementing Minecraft into Fallout. That's what they're doing, guys. Pull out the Goss Rifle a little bit. I sort of want to use the Goss Rifle. I was trying to quick scope some people. Uh, we're not going to sneak anymore because I'm lazy. Uh, but yeah, I, I was uh, I was using the Goss Rifle and trying to quick scope people at close range uh, when I was dying off screen at time, which is probably why I kept dying off screen thinking about it. Calvert Mansion. Interesting. Uh, where is the entrance? Donde esta el entrance? <laughs> my Spanglish is so bad. You guys are probably like cringing at how bad my Spanglish is. Like, first of all, it's Spanglish, and second of all, it's like bad Spanglish, if that's even possible. I, w I would be the only person in the world who could have bad Spanglish, and this mansion is creepy as crap. Okay, I don't see anyone, I don't think there's anyone behind me, so. I also went and bought some microfusion cells off screen, I should say, which is why we have more. I mean, I magically conjured someone. Or some, not someone. Speaking of which, I am itching to play some Skyrim uh, right now, I don't know why. I might play some later tonight on my own. It's been such a long time since I've just, like, sat down and played a video game for, like, my own enjoyment, which kind of sucks. Uh, but at the same time, at the same time, I really shouldn't complain. Uh, no! Not turret. Wait, did my game... Okay. I thought my game froze. Uh, I think those are good turrets, apparently. Or are they? Uh, tribal, we will kill you. I thought there was someone, there was someone asking for help from these tribals, so... I'm guessing the person maybe lives in this house and is being, like, attacked. So, that's, I would imagine the turrets are on our side because of that. Uh, is this dog evil? Hello? No, okay, that's good. I don't want to shoot the dog. I like dogs. Wait, that does no damage! This person has no armor. How does that do no damage? These tribals are beasts, guys. They're, they're some sort of, like, god-like creatures. Not really, because they're about to get... That does, that does no damage! Or, well, okay, maybe, I, I think I'm just getting confused here. I think I'm just getting confused as to whether the turrets doing damage or I'm doing damage. But anyways... Uh, okay. I feel like, I feel like a lot of the time, especially when I watch, when I watch back my videos, I'll like make snap reactions to things and then I'll realize, wait, I that was like not what happened at all. Desmond, you, you are not a ghoul. Oh no, you are a ghoul. Oh, you have interesting hair for a ghoul. I didn't even know ghouls could have hair, actually. Okay, anyways, anyways, uh, cause like Moira lost all of her hair, so I was sort of assuming. Thank you for the medical supplies, by the way. Uh, I don't really care about what you're saying, to be honest. Uh. Are there any more tribals? I just want to kill some more people. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Jeez, dude, what did you do? What the hell did you do? Did you like, did you like kidnap like one of their members or something like that? Like, holy crap. And how does someone with no armor take such little damage? This doesn't make any sense, Bethesda. This is stupid. Okay, uh, we're gonna shoot you in the face. No, I don't have any action points. Darn it. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Die. I don't want to shoot Desmond though. Wait, is this is this dog on our side? Hello, I'm trying to focus on. This. Okay, never mind. Uh, I, I think that dog is on our side. Desmond apparently has a ton of dogs. Okay, micro. I, I need to not the micro fusion emitter, whatever this thing is called, the metal blaster. Jeez, I cannot. I don't know what I don't know what my own weapons are, which is really pathetic. Sorry, my commentary is really nonsensical, but whenever I get into intense combat, my commentary always gets nonsensical because I have to focus while I'm playing. So. I've thought about doing some like Halo multiplayer for you guys, but like whenever I whenever I play this game, it always like discourages me because like I would need to focus even more for Halo multiplayer uh, than in Fallout, which I am a pretty big Halo fan, I should say. I used to be so into Halo back in the day, but I wasn't really a huge fan of Halo 4 to be honest. Halo 4 wasn't that bad. It was okay. It was okay. Um, I, it was a decent game, but what really killed the series for me was Halo Reach, and uh, I, I've discussed this before. And I apologize if you like Halo Reach, but it's just it was just such a huge transition 
from Halo 2 and Halo 3, and I just felt like the competitive scene really suffered, and that was really into, you know, competitive, and I just felt like after, like, once Halo Reach came out, the competitive scene just sort of dropped off, and that, that was just no fun for me, that was just no fun for me, because that, that was one of the, one of the main, that was actually one of the main, like, things in my childhood, you know, like, like, competitive Halo and getting into competitive Halo, and whoa, 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 you will feed the Punga, uh, well, you will, how, how have I taken so much damage, Gee, these tribals are beasts. Oh my gosh! What in the world? It's just taking no damage! <laughs> or she, or whatever. This person is taking no damage. Oh, I didn't hockey my stim packs. Desmond, I need your help! Uh, okay, don't just, uh, the stim packs. Uh, we're gonna take a few. Uh, probably one more. And hockey them. Okay, okay, okay. And now we're gonna start shooting you people in the face. We're gonna try and kill this guy, because if we can kill that guy, then we can regenerate our action point uh, with Grim Reaper Sprint, which it doesn't look like we're going to be able to, so. Jeez, how, how do you take such little damage? That literally doesn't make any sense, okay. We're gonna try and kill you. I'm actually gonna go into Vats and see if we can fire off a shot. Please die. No, oh well, no, no, okay, never mind. He was at full health. This is ridiculous, this is absurd. How do these tribals have so much health? Like, okay, okay, um, uh, Operation Anchorage was hard because they took away all our weapons. Mothership Data was hard because, because we did it at such a low level. Um, what's it called? The Pit. The Pit was hard because they took away all our crap. But this is just hard because these tribals are apparently, like, beasts and just, like, ridiculous creatures. Uh, wait, no. Oh, yeah, I do want to shoot you because you're gonna die, it looks like. No! This is ridiculous. I'm literally just running around spamming stim packs and spamming my... My metal blaster. <laughs> I can't believe. I can't believe I'm just. This is like zombies. This is literally like zombies. Call of Duty zombies. Which I do have some Call of Duty zombies posted on my channel, but no one watches them. Uh, I'm just gonna go cry in a corner. I don't really. I, I, it's not really a big deal. I, I'm honestly like super stoked that people even watch my videos. Like it's still so crazy that I'll put up a video and it even gets views. That just like shocks me. Like I'll put up a video and I'll look like 30 minutes later. I'll be like, how does this even have views on it? Like I don't understand. It's like so strange. It's still, like, strange doing that. Okay, I regenerated my action points because of Grim Reaper Sprint. Now we're going to shoot you a ton of times in the face. This is how I'm supposed to use Grim Reaper Sprint. Not the other way where I was just, you know, killing people out of vats and not doing things right. Oh, gosh. Can you shoot instead of taking six years? Thank you. Oh, my gosh. This is turning into a fiasco. Okay, we're going to kill you and then hopefully end off the episode. No. Oh, we got him. No, there's more? Are you freaking kidding me? I see someone on my radar. This is absurd. This is ridiculous. Desmond, get over here. Where's Desmond? Hopefully Desmond didn't die. Can Desmond even die? If Desmond dies, I'll be pissed. Uh, whoa. Uh, oh, tribal. Wait, how did you get knocked down? This is ridiculous. How many waves of these people are there? Can we please kill this one, actually? I fired off, like, five shots. Where did you come from? Okay, now we're gonna use, make use, use a Grim Reaper Sprint once again, because we killed that guy in Vats, and we're gonna shoot you in the face six times. I just gotta spam Vats. How did I miss? How am I missing? No. No. How? That's ridiculous. Games. Ah, I've had such low health. This is just turning to me freaking out a ton. Okay. Uh, and now we're gonna shoot you in the face. These tribals do so much damage and have so much health. What is wrong? I don't understand. They're like all super mutant overlord level. Not really, but like they're still like powerful as crap. Okay, we're gonna get back in here and now we're gonna spam you to the face. I don't understand. These tribal, uh, uh, do they have like radiation? Some sort of radiation mutation that's helping them? And how am I missing? These guys apparently can dodge a ton. Uh, okay. I'm gonna shoot them out of bats because apparently bats are just bugging out right now. Okay. Finally! Are they all done now? Please tell me they're all done. Desmond, get back here. Don't just, uh... Oh, come on. Gosh darn it. Did you lock me in here, you asshole? Okay, I don't know if that's it for the enemies. Uh, let me go upstairs and check. I hope that's it. Uh... Oh, man. How can tribals be so tough? I just do not understand. I do not understand at all. Uh, there's a massive hole in the wall here. Jeez. I sort of want to find Desmond before we end it off. Talk to him. Because we haven't really gotten to... Oh, come on. Seriously? Where did you guys come from? Is this just like a tribal spawning zone? We're just going to shoot you as many times in the head as we can. Try to kill you and then spam the other guy. How am I missing? I'm literally right up against this. Okay, thank you. Okay, now we can spam you to the face. This Grim Reaper Sprint is so OP if you actually use it right. Because I can just target them in vats like multiple times. And just like spam away. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like we killed him, but he's got very low health, so... Oh, we did kill him. Okay, we have one more shot left. 
Oh my gosh. No. No. What the heck? Oh my gosh. I was thinking of ending off the episode, but I guess that isn't happening. Please kill. Please kill so I can re regenerate my action points. No. This, this is going to miss, isn't it? Oh, okay. Thank God. Okay. All right. If we had missed that shot, it would have actually been a lot worse. I'm actually going to stim pack here a little bit. How many tribals are there? This is, we're literally fighting an army on our own. Where is Desmond too? Did he just lock himself away? I'm pretty sure he just like locked us out. Or was, were we supposed to stay in with him or something like that? Maybe he was trying to lock out the tribals and do we not kill her? Please tell me we killed her. Yes, we did. Okay, sweet. Oh man, okay. And hopefully, hopefully you were the last one. I hope you're the last one. Although I, I've said that like six times and the game has contradicted me each time. Also, the Metal Blaster uses very little action points, which is really nice. Please do not glitch out and actually hit this one, Bats. Thank you. Thank you. Very few disintegrations, which kind of okay. makes me sad, you know? Seal, that hole. It looks uh, like seal what hole? Maybe there's something in oh, okay. Uh, I want to get science. Do I just get... I can't get science up to 100, so there's no point. So I'm just going to put it up to, like, 90, I think. Uh, so we can get it up to 100 next level. We're going to get lockpick up to 70. Uh, I think that's good. Okay, and what perk do I want here? Uh, Quantum Chemist. Every technical... Whoa, okay. That sounds interesting. I don't think it's very good. Oh, and I don't have dog meat, huh? Uh, so I guess that's not really useful for me. Plus 10 EXP. I don't really know how useful that is. I feel like Explorer could be interesting. Uh, shoot, this is a tough one. I feel like this would be useful for me. I'm actually going to get this. That would be so useful for me because I'm an idiot. I know it wouldn't really be useful for anyone else. But where, where, how do I seal up this hole here? Uh, wait, I'm so confused. Hurry and seal that hole from the attic. If you don't have any grenades, then see if there's something nearby you can shoot that will explode. Uh, okay, where's the hole? I am no longer well rested. Well, that is unfortunate. Uh, wait, where's the hole? Oh, gosh. I hope there are going to be more coming because of that. I hope they're all dead. Uh, I seriously do not see any hole. Alright guys, I am back and apparently I'm an idiot because we just need to blow this thing up and I was like searching all over the place for what we need to blow up to do all this, but that is all we need to do and geez, that was ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Okay, alright. We probably want to go and talk with Desmond. Uh, but I think I'm going to save that for the next episode, guys. I think we're going to go ahead and end it off here. Uh, yeah, guys, as always, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for more follow content in the future. The common question of the day is what is one feature that you would have loved to see implemented into Fallout 3, but that Bethesda neglected to implement? So, like, for example, ADSing is a feature that Bethesda did not implement, but would have been nice. Uh, for me, I feel like, you know, a more organized perk chart or a more organized perk system would have been really nice. Uh, it would have been really nice if Bethesda had thrown that in the game. And that is one of the biggest problems I have with this game's uh, leveling system. The skill system is fine, uh, but the perk system could, could use some work in my opinion. Uh, but let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the next episode of Fallout 3.